David Boston Bike Bits, just another very quick update on the trike project. Uh, I've got some of my decals, as you can see they've now been applied and lacquered over, all looking nice and shiny. Um, I've still got some other ones to come that have got the biker logo on. It was created by my good friend Steve Barney. If anybody ever needs any graphics work doing, he's the man. Get in touch and I'll give you details. But uh, yeah, there she is. Um, I've taken her out a couple of times to give her a road test. Had a couple of problems, had a nasty water leak, uh, which was just a blown O-ring, that's sorted. Uh, I was also getting a really bad misfire at idle. Um, I think what had happened, the specification for the idle screws that adjust the mixture at tick over, uh, in a 1981 bike, they're supposed to be out one and a half turns. In an 82-83 bike, they're supposed to be out three turns. And uh, when I removed the carburetors yesterday to have a good look at them, I see that they were actually only out one and a half turns. So I've now turned them all out three, and uh, it's much, much better. Um, I might take them off again and adjust them a little bit further out as well. But... Uh, they were absolutely immaculate. I think somebody has given them a full ultrasonic clean, um, which probably says that they were chasing this problem down previously. But she seems to be running well enough now. Handles like an absolute pig. Um, trikes are quite well known for having a wobble at low speed, sort of around about 15, 20 mile an hour. And what it's down to is it's down to the geometry of the machine, basically. Um, when you turn a bike into a trike, what you're supposed to do is alter the angle of the forks here. You're supposed to basically chop it so that the forks come out further. And it's sort of like a, a supermarket trolley. It gives you this bigger caster effect. And this is still on standard ones. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm looking at making something that bolts on here. Um, and moves this spindle forward so that uh, the caliper and the wheel is moved about four inches forward and that should then solve the problem but it's a hell of a lot of work so uh, I shan't worry for now I'll just have to learn to live with it perhaps but uh, maybe over the winter that'd be a good project so there we are she's done